Hello everybody, it's Khalif PvP bringing another Blade and Soul video, but this time I gotta talk about something that, that's been pissing me off in Blade and Soul, and that is the amount of fucking bots that this game has. And, and unfortunately, and I, I realize, you know, like spam bots, you're not gonna be able to get rid of them. I completely understand that, because they just make them, get them level 10 or 15 or whatever, and just spam. But these bots are in gold! These PvP bots that you that I'm facing right now, they're in pretty high gold. And to me, I'm facing more bots in PvP than I face actual players. And one of the things I pl play PvP is because I want to do player versus player. I am a PvP through and through. I enjoy the rush. I enjoy the adrenaline. Uh, I enjoy the losses because even from the losses, I'm learning something new. I'm learning, oh, what did I do wrong? But in this, I, I'm doing player versus bot. I, I don't want to do player versus bot. And, and it's, it's not the fault of, you know, the players or anything like that. It's the fault of NCSoft because these bots are in high high gold right it's not some oh you know we'll you know we're constantly banning them or anything like that clearly you're not because these guys are in gold and it, it doesn't take uh you know it's not quick to get to gold there's plenty of people playing so that means these bots are getting gold quite uh in a quite long period of time where if you are actually banning these guys the the bots in gold will be few and far between uh, and that's what pisses me off about it is that these guys are all kind of in the gold rank. And it's just one tanking the economy because it's bringing back down the soulstone prices. And the other is it's just, you know, it's so boring to play PvP right now. My biggest gripe about this is the fact that new players or new PvPers rather, are they're not experiencing Blade and Soul as it should be. Uh, for those of us that played in, you know, the early uh, months of, of Blade and Soul, we know that, you know, certain classes play differently, right? For a KFM, you, you want to make sure that you don't get in their Searing Palm combo or you're going to get 100 to 0. Uh, for a Blade Dancer, you know, you, you don't want to attack them when they're spinning. Uh, you don't want to, you know, be outside the tab when they're doing their lightning lightning draw uh, for a destroyer the red spin for example you want to make sure you see CSS that rather so there's, there's each class has something special about them that you need to learn so you can adapt new players are really not learning that all they're facing is destroyers and destroyers and destroyers and then they get to you know the high high gold and high plats and all of a sudden they're getting absolutely destroyed right because they don't know how to play the class and that to me is such a big like issue because all these new players that you know th that might be good if they were given enough chance to learn and adapt they're now getting shitted on because all they've been fighting were bots So if I'm a casual PvPer that I'm you know playing maybe you know five six games at a time, majority of my fights are going to be bots. And uh, of the 25 games that I played uh, at the time of this recording, um, all maybe 24 of them were bots. So to me, it's kind of like oh I'm not PvPing. This is not PvP for me. This is me just going in and killing some bots for no apparent reason. And it's not limited to just one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So you might be thinking, oh, I'll just do you know three-on-three. -three. No, unfortunately, the bot problem is also epidemic in the three-on-three -three branches as well. So here's a couple back-to-back -back PvP might fights that had bots. Uh, for 3-on-3, three three, for some reason, it's summoner bots. I, I don't know why. But it's a summoner boss that sits still and then just don't do anything. So this particular fight, we had uh, two bots that were that were just standing still. And the next fight, we're going to have, uh, I think, one bot that just stands still and does nothing. So it's also, you know, in 3v3, and, and the worst of 3v3 is if you're in the receiving end of a bot, where if you have a bot on your team, so you're really fighting handicapped. 
right? You're fighting a two on three fight rather than a uh, three on three. And the worst of it I've seen is one real player, two bots, and I felt so bad for the player because he, he just, you know, there's nothing he could do. And this is really driving a lot of people away from PvP. And I mean, who would find that fun? Who would find being in a team with two bots and just getting destroyed enjoyable? Um, unless you're a masochist, majority of the people will say, no, I don't find that fun. And that's, this is to me the biggest uh, issue right now in Blade and Soul because NCSoft is clearly not doing shit. Um, you know, they're they're undoubtedly lying about the bullshit. They're like, oh yeah, we're taking care of it. Because if that was the case, these bots would not be in gold, right? These bots would be relegated to the to the bronze and low um, low silver rankings. They wouldn't be in gold. And that's to me one of the big reasons I'm I'm finding really harder each day to kind of to to level so that pretty much wraps up my my rant so to speak if you guys uh like it please let me know what you think about it um if you think you know the bots aren't as bad let me know in the comment section uh but until next time it's uh khalif pvp i'll uh, be putting out a little bit more uh pvp videos coming out i have a couple footages but anyway until next time peace